To create a new residential district is an abiding dream of every architect. To create an urban district that is just a seven minute drive from the Kremlin is a super ambitious goal. Nevertheless, it is here, close to the Petrov Palace, that the VTB Arena Park neighborhood will soon emerge. Since time immemorial, the stadium, the arena, has been regarded as the centerpiece of any urban development initiative. In my opinion, the VTB arena is the first arena of its kind in Moscow to serve as a major consolidating element of the ensemble around it. This is of paramount importance. Thirty-two hectares of land in Moscow, and so many challenges. To breathe new life into Dinamo Stadium while preserving its historic part, to turn the park into a sports and recreation site, and integrate it seamlessly into the surrounding urban area. To develop it in such a way that will not create any traffic problems. Sounds impossible? We beg to differ. The current reconstruction of Dinamo Stadium is not the first. Built in 1928, the stadium was extensively renovated twice in the 20th century. In 1934, when the Sports and Recreation Park was added to the facility, and in the run-up to the 1980 Summer Olympics in Moscow. The historic western facade, designed by Langman, Cherikover, and Iofan, will be preserved, as well as the bay reliefs by Merkurov. In these boxes, there are legendary bar reliefs by the outstanding Soviet sculptor Sergei Merkurov, which decorated the northern and southern porches of the stands at the Dinamo Stadium. They require renovation, and they shall receive it. The first stage of this renovation includes a 3D scanning of the bar reliefs after which the specialist will decide how to best use them in the new stadium. During the reconstruction of their home stadium, FC Dinamo Moscow plays at other arenas. However, the club will enjoy benefits for such inconvenience. Its fans will have their own section with a separate entrance and a lobby with an observation deck. The building will also host the Dinamo Museum. The VTB Arena Dinamo Central Stadium will inherit the historic historical functionality of the stadium. Football is not the only sport that has been played here. Dinamo has played host to the European Basketball Championship and got a key competitions. The best ice hockey clubs have played on its rink. Numerous parades and concerts have been held here. The arena will host international level competitions, but that's not all. Engineers have studied the requirements of the most sophisticated touring shows in the world in order to take all of their requirements into account at the construction stage. Not a single stadium in the world can return on investment. Therefore, we decided to combine a football stadium and a multi-use sports arena under one roof. The VTB Arena, Dinamo Central Stadium Complex, will be able to host any international event. We plan to hold approximately 200 events each year. Such a serious construction project required serious preparations. In 2010, a competition for the best concept was initiated. However, when the 2018 FIFA World Cup Games were announced to be held at other stadiums, the project had to be revised. After the project was approved in 2012, it became clear that the VTB Arena Dinamo Central Stadium would become a unique facility, even as per the international standards. This is a fantastic project to be a part of, one of the most exciting projects I've ever worked on. The preservation uh, aspect of the uh, historic stadium wall was challenging uh, with respect to uh, how we construct uh, above and around the project. I wanted the, uh, the building to feel like a jewel in the landscape, floating like a Fabergé egg. So it has this beautiful, ornate, uniquely Russian feel to it. At this very spot I'm standing right now is one of the main entrances to the building. Uh, you'll come in this way into uh, a recreation of the uh, old historic entrance of the stadium over the uh, historic part of the wall that we're preserving and the stadium will be right here. We're released from the requirements of FIFA 
We were able to reduce the stadium from 45,000 seats down to 27,000 seats, and that had a dramatic uh, opportunity for us to make the project smaller and more intimate and comfortable. The Dinamo Sports Academy will include two ice hockey rinks, martial arts, team sports, and fencing halls, and a medical and recovery center. A park with bicycle and roller skating rinks, as well as basketball and volleyball courts, will restore the tradition of the Dinamo Sports Park as the Muscovite's favorite place for outdoor activities. The green area of the park will become a recreation destination for the residents of the neighborhood, guests of the Hyatt, and the staff of the future offices. A new residential district will be built from the side of Novia Bashilovka. The buildings in the new street, which is expected to be named after Lev Yashin, have received numerous architectural awards, even though being still a design concept. The Arena Park District, with a recreation and entertainment center, fitness club, spa, and business center, will meet and exceed the expectations of the most demanding residents. The conference hall of the Hyatt Regency Moscow Petrovsky Park will provide everything necessary for conferences and business sessions. These elements unfold towards Leningradsky Avenue, opening towards the skyline of the city, and its facade is crucial for identifying Moscow. It is one of the primary Moscow landmarks. A new premium level residential district will be integrated into the surrounding urban environment. The complex will be located within a seven minute drive to the center of Moscow. The new Petrovsky Park Metro Station will soon be construction in addition to the Dinamo Station to become part of the third transfer contour and connect the new district with Moscow City Business Center. The team involved in the construction of the facility draws in inspiration from the project. The team lives and breathes with this project, and I guess it is the project of our lives. It is most definitely the project of my life, and it will make our city even more beautiful. The work of an international team of architects and engineers, research restorers, five years of construction, all this is for the sake of the 22nd day of October 2017 to take the first match in its recent history. The date is chosen for a reason. It is on the 22nd of October, the date when the famous Dinamo player and the best goalkeeper of the 20th century, Lev Yashin, was born.